so jump it right into the tutorial I first I'm gonna spray my face with this first aid beauty vitamin mist I'm gonna let that sit on my face while I do my eyes to help my face get moisturized before foundation so for this look we're gonna be using the Tarte Tardis Pro and the first color you want to grab is bold and put that in the teeth and I apologize for my headphones showing but um, we had a snow day here in New York so I'm on standby for work so I needed to leave my headphones on just in case they called so I'm sorry if they're a little distracting so the next color you want to grab is innocent and place this a little bit lower than bold in the face So then I take the color whiskey and just put it on the outer side of the crease. I like when my eyes are open for you to see that color on the outskirts of my crease. So to deepen up my crease and my outer corner, I'm going to take this brown color edgy and just put it on the outer. So for the lid, I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero um, Highlight Palette and I'm using the color Daydream. Now you do have to build it up because you have to remember these. Even though you can use them as an eyeshadow, they're not meant to be eyeshadows, they're meant to be highlighters. So I just built them up and then on the third, the third layer, I just applied some setting spray to make it more metallic. But it did wear beautifully on the eye and I had no issues. So I just wanted to show you guys a little clip of how it looks with the um, setting spray because when you do apply it and blend the edges the intensity of the highlight does um, decrease so it's good to just you know apply some layers and then use some um, fix plus or setting spray to make it metallic. So for primer I'm using this Benefit Professional to help minimize my big ass pores. And then for foundation, I'm going to go on with the Rimmel 24 Hour Moisture Foundation. Now I do have oily skin, but this foundation, if you set it with a mattifying powder, it does not um, make my skin oily, so I really like this. But it is winter, I never tried this in the summer, so I'm going to try it out in the summer. But for right now, it is perfect for my oily skin. using the tart shape tape and I have to okay, say a, the okay, hype behind this concealer is real at first you want to learn not to apply too much because it spreads beautifully it blends into the skin and it just looks flawless 
and I got the color light medium honey and it's kind of an exact match but when I set it with a banana, a banana yellow powder to brighten it really brightened it and did the effect so I just love this concealer right now and to set that of course I'm using my all time favorite my wet and wild yellow banana powder in the contour palette if you never tried this you need to it is four dollars at your drugstore try it and then to set my whole entire face because I am an oily person I'm using the elf finishing powder and I'm, I've seen this in caffeine light um, powder collection video so I wanted to give it a try and it is bomb.com it is I think six dollars I got it at Target it's amazing so to contour my face I am using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil powder this is the sample size that Sephora gave a long ass time ago I'm trying to use up some of the stuff in my collection it really legit smells like chocolate which bad for my diet but it's amazing it blends beautifully into the skin so to bronze my face and to contour my nose a little bit I'm using benefit hula So for blush, I am using Twinkle Pink, and yes, I am using blush. It is very, um, I don't want to say glittery, you don't have glitter, but it has like sparkles, like specks of sparkles in it, like shimmer, there you go, shimmer in it. It's a very shimmery summertime blush. It looks really pretty though. And to set my face with all those powders, I'm using the Milani make it that setting spray which is really good for a drugstore setting spray and it smells amazing and then for my lower lash line i'm just gonna take bold and edgy and blend them into the lash line Then I'm taking one of those um, flat um, brushes and just putting with Wimsky really, really close to the lash line. And for my brow bone highlighter and inner corner highlighter, I'm using Classic. So for mascara, I'm using Maybelline Colossal Spider Effect, and this mascara is really good, but it does like clump together your lashes, you know, to get those spider like looking lashes. So if you don't like that, I would recommend you stay far away from this mascara. So for liquid lipsticks, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Matte Lip Kit in Regal. This is my first time using it and taking it out of the box. And if you can see, the color was a little bit off from the color that I thought I was getting. The one on the box looked a little bit more brown. But um, I'm going to do a few reviews after I try these out a little bit more. But my first impressions, it was really good. The lip liner was smooth and it glide on really, really well. The formula was a little bit dry and you could feel it on your lips when you like close your lips together but after like an hour that feeling went away. So I'm gonna do a few reviews once I try them out a little bit more. 
And last but not least, time to highlight my face, my favorite part of makeup. And I am using Forever Lit. This has been my number one color that I've been using in this pattern. It is just amazing and it looks beautiful on the skin. And after you finish, you know, drenching yourself in highlight, I went ham. That completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this peachy look using the glow kit. As an eyeshadow, please subscribe, comment, like, thumbs up. Leave any suggestions below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.